vertical balls that were out of reach of our receivers' hands and uh, making them the right reads. I kind of, at times, got a little skittish in the pocket and kind of stepped off where I don't need to step up and I mean, it resulted in one sack. Um, but like I said, I got to make better throws. Offense overall? Analyze that. We got to be better. Um, I mean, as you can see on the film, so we didn't run the ball well. Some of the times we didn't throw the ball well. Uh, we gotta be better overall. How important is it to be positive when Coach Brownford took five, six drops? For you, how do you to be encouraging to those guys instead of you know having Bob bad, bad, bad body You have to be positive. I tell them. Game. You make these plays in practice so you can make them in the game. We, we've got to make these plays to, uh, to make the key at first downs and keep the ball rolling. And I know they can do it. And that's why it's kind of hard to head. You made these plays before, so I can do it. What do you maybe expect to see differently this week? I know Jane may load the box up. Obviously, Missouri is going to see that he has to move it through the air. So, what do you anticipate? They may do that too. Um, but they're a fast as a team. And they're, they're bigger than JMU was. So, I mean, we've got to be able to move the ball um, run the game, in the run game and in the pass game. So, uh, what is the difference between a pass that's almost a wrong game and six inches over the line? Same thing. Uh, drop to drop, a uh, missed ball to missed ball. So we gotta make these plays next next game. Is it a big adjustment to or just do what you do what you do? I mean there's little adjustments, uh, not putting so much on the ball. Uh, not, I, like I said, I was really amped up. Yeah, uh, ready to throw the ball up, ready to let it loose. Uh, but I gotta settle in now. I've got one game under my belt and uh, I have to have to make these plays now. I can run. I didn't really run very much in this, this last game. Um, yeah, so like, yeah. I mean, he, he had some some scrambles that were pretty good. Um, some that led to touchdowns, some pulls that led to touchdowns. So I mean, if there's opportunities there, then uh, we can take those. Uh, but I mean, in pocket, pocket quarterback. So if the ball is there to, to throw, the ball will be there. Hey Austin, when when you come in here, you meet with Neil. This is the for like the postgraduate guys, and we're just trying to make sure they fit culturally. Because he was trying to change some ways. From your conversations with him, did you get a sense that he was kind of vetting you a little bit, like, hey, how is he going to fit? Like, he knows how you can play, but hey, is he going to fit a lot guys? Do you sense that with him? Uh, yeah, when I first got here, he goes, you have to talk to everybody on the team. You have to fit in with everybody. You're meeting a whole new team. You have to uh, create relationships with everybody. And that's that's a part of being a brotherhood here at West Virginia. Um, and without doing that, you're not going to get uh, the team behind you, uh, the offense behind you. And he basically told me, you need to go talk to everybody, create bonds with them, create relationships. And I think I've done uh, a decent amount of job uh, doing that. And, we have to continue to do that as well. It sounds like George and Ruben are maybe even Josh already. What do you know about that? What do you think that? Same job. Hey, you just have to ask yourself. I'm not going out and talk to everybody, like I said. And you got to create bonds. Continue to say that, but you just got to act yourself around everybody. What was it made you feel part of it? It comes a moment, I guess, when, when you suddenly say, I'm in the right place. Yeah, like when I got here, I thought um, things may, may be different. I don't know anybody here yet. Um, but everybody brought me a welcome in the arms, and uh, that, that really felt and, uh, it humbled me. Was, was the touchdown pass to Campbell maybe a little more special, given that both of you have gone through a lot of the, a lot of the same stuff to finally get to this point? Yeah, special. Um, it was really good for him because um, he really works hard on special teams and on offense. I know he, he didn't start on offense, but he made some good plays. So, um, he'll continue to get this place.